come on here and I want to love on you guys. And I want to bring this, the words to a song to you that the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart to bring on here tonight. This is an incredible, an incredible CD, unstoppable CD by Jesus Culture. And <clears throat> as I was praying today, the Holy Spirit spoke to me to read the words to this song, Unstoppable Love. Now, I want you, as I read the words to this, I want you, if you are at a place that you could close your eyes and you could listen to me read these words to you and realize that the love that Jesus has for you, for me, for each and every person on this earth that he died for, that he bled for, that he gave his very life for, that he was beaten for, that he was he was crucified for, beloved, because he loves us. Listen to the words of this. <clears throat> okay, the song is Unstoppable Love. It says, try to stop your love and you would wage a war. Try to take the very thing you gave your life for. And you would come running, tear down every wall, all the while shouting, my love, you're worth it all. God, you pursue me with power and glory, unstoppable love that never ends. You're unrelenting with passion and mercy, unstoppable love that never ends. Listen to this, guys. I pray this ministers to your heart. And like I said, beloved, if you can close your eyes as I read this to you and realize these are words of how much that the Lord loves us and put into a song. Okay, listen, he said, it says, you broke into the silence and sang a song of hope, a melody resounding in the deep of my soul. You have come running, you tore down every wall, all the while shouting, my love, you're worth it all. It says, no sin, no shame, no past, no pain can separate me from your love. No height, no depth, no fear, no death can separate me from your love. Guys, I want to read that again. This is just so beautiful. And like I said, I want you to realize that this is the love that Jesus, we have for Jesus and that Jesus has for us. Listen to this. It's unstoppable love. And this is where the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart today to come on here. Try to stop your love and you would wage a war. Try to take the very thing you gave your life for. And you would come running, tear down every wall, all the while shouting, my love, you're worth it all. God, you pursue me with power and glory, unstoppable love that never ends. You're unrelenting with passion and mercy, unstoppable love that never ends. You broke into the silence and sang a song of hope, a melody resounding in the deep of my soul. You have come running, you tore down every wall, and all the while shouting, he's shouting to us, my love, you're worth it all. No sin, no shame, no past, no pain can separate me from your love. No height, and then we're talking about the love of God. No height, no depth, no fear, no death can separate me from your love. Guys, I just want to speak from my heart really quick. It's not going to be a very long video. And I want to just encourage you guys that the Lord loves you so passionately, so perfectly, and so permanently. Beloved, there is nothing, and as there's nothing that you've done that God cannot forgive you of if you ask for forgiveness. There is nothing he cannot restore back to you, beloved, if you let him. And there is nothing he cannot deliver you from. No bondage, no addiction. Even if maybe you are just totally ashamed because you're, you are addicted to prescription pills. And you are so embarrassed that you feel like you can't even tell anybody. Baby, you don't have to tell nobody. You could cry out to Jesus and he will deliver you. It doesn't matter what we face. It doesn't matter what the enemy tries to throw at us. It doesn't matter even what we've gotten ourselves in. If we cry out to Jesus and mean it from a sincere heart, beloved, he will deliver us. He will deliver us. And as, as I was praying and I was, I was seeking the Lord and waiting on him to speak to my heart for a video, when he spoke the, to read the words to this song, 
It's like he spoke to my heart that there were going to be people that were going to watch us that you feel so unloved. How could anybody love me? Because maybe you have been told your whole life, beloved, that you're not lovable. No one likes you. No one cares for you. No one loves you. No one wants you. No one likes you. No one wants to be around you. You're worthless. You're a loser. The devil is a liar. Let me serve notice on the devil again. The devil is a liar. You are worth it. Your life has value. Your life has purpose. Your life, beloved, was so worth it that Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one, he gave his very life for you and I. And beloved, even if you were the only person on this earth, he would have died just for you. I want you to receive that truth in your heart, beloved. The Bible says, We've all sinned and we've all fallen short of the glory of God. Okay, that means everybody is messed up. And that's why Jesus died, not just for the rich people, not just for this group of people. He died for all of us. Every one of us. Red, yellow, black, and white. We are all precious in his sight. He died for all of us. So, beloved, remember, okay, remember his love for you. The word says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for us so that we wouldn't die, but have everlasting life. That's what's so beautiful about Jesus. He took everything on him so we could have freedom. We could have love and peace and joy and we could have, <clears throat> excuse me, that we could live in the blessings of God and the abundance of God, beloved. Oh, I pray that you feel the heart of God. I pray that you feel him drawing you, wooing you and drawing you, saying, Beloved, I love you. So I want to pray with you, wherever you are and whoever you are, however you're listening to this under the sound of my voice, I pray in Jesus' name that you receive the truth, that you are loved, you are lovable, that God cherishes you, God adores you, He loves you, He validates you, He sees purpose in you, He says you are special, He died just for you, my beloved, He died for you. So Father, I would just pray for each and every person listening to this under the sound of my voice, Holy Spirit, I ask you to touch them. Holy Spirit, I ask you to reveal yourself to them. Holy Spirit, I just ask you to move in a mighty way and draw them closer to you. Draw them closer to your presence. Lord, I ask you to wrap your arms of love around them. In Jesus' name. And Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, as you spoke to me today, and you said that someone listening to this has struggled with the spirit of suicide. And I take authority over that spirit right now. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The blood of Jesus is against you. And I bind every suicidal spirit that is speaking into the ears of anyone that is listening to this. I take authority over that spirit in Jesus' name. And I command it to leave. And I command it to cease and desist in Jesus' name. I take authority over depression. I take authority over the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. And I lose life and I lose the love of God, the joy of God, the peace of God, and the blessings of God over you in the name of Jesus. Beloved, God is fighting for you. He has been fighting your whole entire life for you. So even when you felt you were absolutely alone, he was there waiting for you to recognize him, waiting for you to realize that he was there, beloved. So remember, he loves you permanently, he loves you perfectly, and he loves you passionately. God bless you.